We are joined now by Dr. Amy Hagerman, our Extension Ag Policy Specialist. Amy, there is a deadline coming up that we need to talk about. Absolutely, the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. We've been hearing about it since May when it first opened, and I would really encourage all of our producers to figure out what they have that's eligible. And if they are eligible, contact their FSA office. Get in, get this application in, because it's really short and it's pretty fast. You are wanting to speak specifically to cattle producers. What message do you have for them? So for our cattle producers in the state, these are really some fairly high payments for any inventory that was sold January 15th to April 15th. And so it's a, it's a one page application figure out if the cattle you sold are eligible in that period. Then from April 6th, 15th until uh, May 15th is based on inventory at $33 a head. But still, even if you only have inventory across that entire period, get your application and get yourself in this CFAP system. Because if we do get some further funding out of the HEALS bill or some of these other bills that have been introduced at the federal level, that could speed up the next process, the next round. It's been really fast payments on this program, about a week turnaround in some counties. And that's really, really fast. From the time you turn in your paperwork, it's all self-certification. You fill out your application, you're self-certifying what your numbers are that you're turning in. And about a week later, people have payments in their bank bank accounts and that's great especially kind of going into this fall timing when there's some expenses that might be coming around it's good to have that fast payment we've actually had a lot of cattle producers in the state that haven't taken advantage of this at this point um, based on LFP numbers there's maybe as many as 10,000 cattle producers out there that could be eligible for this program that haven't signed up yet so those those cattle producers in particular I would really love to see them get in and talk to their FSA office. We're talking cattle, but any updates for crop producers at this time? So a lot of our crop producers didn't have eligible inventory for the CFAT program for our, our soybean and our corn producers. A lot of their crop was already sold by that January 15th timeline. We don't yet know what those deadlines will be going into the second potentially the second round of CFAP money. So those crop producers really need to stay tuned on what the updates would be for them going forward. As this program potentially expands based on the HEALS Act that was introduced, we would just have to wait and see what this means for our winter wheat producers of the state. And you have all of this and more in your new blog that's just out. Yeah, we just started a brand new blog for ag policy through OK State, and I'm really excited to be able to provide really quick, timely information. Great, we will look for that. Thanks a lot, Amy. And for a link to Amy's new blog, go to sunup.okstate.edu.